Hi guys, welcome to another video. So, I, first off, you notice I have a new shirt. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about something I kind of feel quite strongly about, and why I don't upload as regularly as I used to. So, a lot of things have been going on with me lately. Uh, I played last game for my football match. Uh, last game for my football match. Last game for my football team. We won, so that's good. Um, but yeah, the okay. So I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why I haven't been uploading. First one is the I just haven't had time. Um, I'm gonna try and put a um, what was it? Man City without Aguero rebuild. I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow. That should be a short video. Uh, I'll just try and put that out. But uh, apart from that, I don't really do kind of videos anymore. Um, I mean, I try to upload them, but just sometimes they don't happen. Next reason. Now, if you watch some YouTubers, yes, they put out videos. Yes, they get a lot of views. But they're uploading stupid content. Like, if you want to upload something, uh, upload it somewhere else. Because the stuff people put on is just straight up weird. Like, could be really creepy, could be really just inappropriate. But it's just stupid what people put on. Um, I'm going to go parkour training tomorrow. So that'll be good. Um, so I may put a video. But like they're the sort of things that people would want to see. I would hope. But people just put out stuff just because they feel pressured to do it. It's all about peer pressure you see. So if I put videos out. I'm not pressured by you guys, which I'm so thankful for. You don't say, oh, if you don't put a video out by Tuesday, then I'm unsubscribed to your channel. You don't do that. So I'm really thankful for that, by the way. People just put out content because they're forced to put out content. Like, um, I'm trying to think of any YouTubers, like Lil Panna. He puts out very good content. Like, I know he doesn't upload that often, but... He's he's good at what he does. Like, it's obvious he's not one of those people that have gone. Ah, oh, you know what? Jack Down is doing this. I could do this. They look all tacky, like I did at the start. I'm not gonna take that away. I looked rubbish at the start, but people just put out rubbish content because they want to. But if you're one of those creators that don't put out content people would want to see, just put out rubbish, then no get rid of it seriously just delete youtube go on to tiktok or something else something where people find your content funny so if you want some tips now obviously i've done youtube for about two years i'm not an editor or anything so whatever i say don't judge me on it because it's just my personal opinion maybe it isn't factual but it's my opinion and i hope it helps you really so if you're looking to put out good content, football videos, obviously, like, everyone wants to do football videos. Um, if you're good at editing, maybe edit, like, some music over it to sound, make it sound better. I do, I've done that once, I think. Um, other video, you can do parkour. Um, even, like, honestly, to the extent of just, like, editing it to look like you're doing a front flip over a gap, like, honestly... The amount of views that will get you, nah, swear to god, yeah, um, videos, say, with your family, they get lot, a lot of views from me, um, not saying they work for everyone, but I'm saying most people, um, maybe, I don't know, um, biking videos, if you have a bike and you like cycling, you could do like some mountain bike. I mean, people aren't gonna watch you cycle up and down a main road. People watch Ben Foster, so I mean that is because he is Ben Foster. I think also if you have a boring name like Billy Bob, like I remember first off when I had my channel it was called Adam Swift because it was my dad's account. No one found it. Like whenever like I used to go into this kid's streams a lot. Like I mean a lot. And he always used to say, oh, we got another man. And I was like, no, it's not another man because it's me, but it's my dad's account. He never got it. I'm not going to say who it is, but he never got it. Um, as soon as I've changed my name to Savage Melon, it's much easier to find, honestly. Like, I used to um, 
I used to do this before, like, I go to bed at, like, 10-ish. Mm, I get to, like, half nine, and I just go on my channel and watch some of my videos, see if anyone's commented anything. I remember when my name was Zach Dadman Cade Garcia, and that was just weird, like, why? Why did I do that? Um, but, yeah, I think I'll give you three steps to become a good creator, but a good content, have an appealing photo, um, profile picture, if you, like, if you're one of those people that have, like, a lot of subscribers, but if your first name, say, Darren, Darren, um, you, you know, or Daniel, say your name is Daniel, uh, Smith, for example. If your profile picture is a D and an S, that's not going to get any attention. You want, like, a good picture, even, right? Even if it's a screenshot of someone else. I, don't, I can't figure out if that's copyright. Or even if you find a good image on Google. Maybe um, you're watching something and there's some good pictures. Maybe try and do that. Some of my pictures, I do, I do make myself like the one of me sitting on my ball in a goal. I did make that myself. I did that in Wix. So, yep. Um, so, you yeah, have good content appealing profile picture and why well, actually interesting about section I, i'll spend more about that and then you want an interesting name so yeah the about section i could be here for a good long period of time here so my about section tells you a bit about me now obviously i don't want to put my address i don't want to put i mean you shouldn't know my real name but like my dad gave it away in one of my videos i'm not saying which ones just in case you go and find it but um it just shows you a bit about me like uh i play for well play for the team i'm actually moving to a different one um i currently live in manning tree um that is where i make all my videos um that's where i live um there's other videos talk about like what's happening with my life um, and he bet the about section thing it doesn't need to tell you like you you don't have to write in the last two days I walked to my bed I got in my bed and I went to sleep in the morning like that you don't that's no one wants to know if you went into your bed woke up the next morning and got changed everyone does that for God's sake I mean unless you go around the house naked but I really hope you don't. So, those are the four things you need. So, yeah, the about section, honestly, don't just... I remember when I was starting out YouTube and I was rubbish. I used to just cram it in. Like, the stuff I was including, mainly people didn't want to know. Uh, but, yeah, maybe it was interesting. Basically, I think the word you have to take from today is interesting. Because you've got to have an interesting name, interesting profile picture interesting content and interesting about section you need it to entice people right if you've ever wrote stories at school i know i have the, the teacher will always tell you write it so the person reading it is hooked to it as in they don't want to put that book down that is a very hard writing technique but basically if you just like i recommend some channels if you do that if you um say what content you post um, if you maybe, like, have, uh, shout-out videos and things like that, that works. But, um, I hope you found this video helpful. I know, um, uh, I've quite liked making it. There'll probably be some more sit-down videos in my, uh, bedroom right here. If you want to give me any video suggestion, please feel free, because... Most of my videos I upload, I have to come up with the ideas and it's really hard now. Like, I've uploaded, what, over 400 videos and I'm struggling for content, really. So, if you'd like to help me out, um, please just put a, um, put a comment down below. I'm doing a giveaway, but I haven't decided what to give away yet. I think it's going to be this shirt. Okay, it's a bit creased, so I will lie on it. But it is the Euro 2021 or Euro 2022 
England shirt. So as you can see, it's just a plain white shirt, no name on the back. Um, it's a bit crisp. I will get it ironed. Um, I just keep all my stuff over there. I don't know why. If you want to be entered into that, you need to have subscribed, and you need to tell me in one of my videos with the comments on, obviously. If you have commented, make sure you like that video. If you want to go and like some of my others, feel free. Um, but just subscribe to my channel. Tell me you have, and I will check my sub count, and I will I will know if you have. Um, and I will block you if you, well, maybe not block you because that's a bit dramatic. But I will not be entering you into the giveaway if you haven't actually subscribed. Don't really need notifications on if you don't want them, but I preferably would like you to have them. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe. There will be, yeah, as I say, fixing Man City without a grower. I don't think this is going to be such a big thing for them, you know. This will probably be just a one season done rebuild kind of a thing. But, um, I'm really looking forward to making it. Um, yeah, I'm sad that we failed with Brentford, but, you know, that's how it is. But if you have enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Take peace of your, take peace of your family. Uh, take care, sorry, and give peace to your family. Uh, care for them, and I will see you tomorrow morning for a devcro video. I'm sorry I didn't upload my lie. Devcro video and a fixing Man City without a Guerrero challenge. So I will see you later. Bye guys.